Does Cindy Lou like flowers too? Yeah? Do you like the garden too? Huh? Do you like to watch painting going on? Yeah? Cindy Lou? How are you? Hello, this is Nancy Claiborne with Where I Plein Air, and today I am going to add an Where I Garden. <laughs> yes, artists like to do more than just paint or whatever they artists choose to do, but I just absolutely love to garden. I love to pick my produce in fresh and eat it totally fresh, and today I'm going to show you how I'm um, growing strawberries and other leafy greens and good garden things. So there's nothing like eating fresh for your health and we all need to be healthy. We all need to be eating lots of fresh greens and lots of fresh berries. Not just a little bit and not nasty food. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the garden. We have three tower gardens. Right now two of them have uh, lots of greens in them and um, from dandelion greens to lettuce and Swiss chard. And I will show you those later. But my third one, I wanted to save for strawberry plants. And I'm here. But what I did was I took my rock wool. You can order these with the tower gardens on my website. But um, they're soaking in a root stimulator or a plant starter. That I picked up at Home Depot or Lowe's and I just I didn't measure it I just squirted a bunch in there anyways I'm going to <clears throat> show you I got strawberry plants in the mail here they kind of have some sand on it but I'm just gonna <clears throat> soak them in this uh, solution here and clean off the sand and then what I did is I took scissors and I cut the rock wool open and I will plant this in here just like that. You want to leave the crown up and the roots hanging. Now this isn't hydroponic, this is aeroponic so it's not, these roots aren't going to just be sitting in water. The difference with the tower garden is that um, the water flows over them for 15 minutes and then the air goes on to the roots for 15 minutes and roots need both. I mean, it's not, they aren't going to rot. They aren't going to get mold and mildew. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one here. So I cut open the rock wool, good pair of scissors. Soak it and rinse it in this water, and then push it in there, and there's another one. <laughs> I got these plants um, from Amazon from a place called handpickednursery.com, and they guarantee their plants. They give a phone number for questions, and they have a website that tells you how to plant them. Um, if you are going to plant them hydroponically or aeroponically. Anyways, it's handpickednursery.com. Okay, now some of these <clears throat> roots were a little bit fatter, so it kind of broke um, these apart. <laughs> By my sink, I have this little container, and when I get batches of, you know, greens, which I had to get before mine started growing since I came back to Florida. I just, you know, it's off a of cilantro or something. I just save the little rubber bands and they come in really handy now that's held together. So I will use them on the ones that were kind of um, falling apart because they were too wide. Or you can just buy them. They're just these cute little rubber bands. And you probably don't have to do it, but I am anyways so that they don't fall apart. Well, it's a pretty windy day today, so I hope this isn't too noisy. But here, 
is one of my tower gardens, and here's some beautiful arugula growing. And look at these dandelion greens. And my La Sonato kale and um, fennel. There's a cucumber plant coming. Uh, here's lemon balm up here. And this is a mixed green, mixed greens. And here's another one. It's full of cilantro, beet greens, Swiss chard, more cilantro. I'm growing lots of cilantro because I do I do a heavy metal detox shake every day, which is really important. Up here is the nasturtium, so you can eat the leaves and the flowers. And I I put all these um, in my Smoothie. So here's the strawberries. I got them all ready in here. And here's some little clips that I have. Take this little clip, put it in here like this. And then these little divots. They go right down in there and they hook just like that. It's like lovely, lovely, lovely. Very easy. Good way to garden. There's another one. Just pop it down in there. And see the water will run over it. You can hear in these, you can hear water run and I can pull this one out. You can see it down in there. Right now it's on running the water. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill this tower up with strawberries. Alright, so I've got it all in here. Looking good. I had um, I ended up with 26 plants and there's like 28 spots in this tower. I got the extra um, tall tower. You can add an extra part. So I got 28 plants. So now what I got to do is there's water in here. It holds 20 gallons. So I'm going to go ahead and um, finish filling the reservoir up to that 20 gallons of my hose. And then um, once I get it full, I've got to check the pH. Sorry, this hair is mine. The the um the pH needs to be between 5.5 and 6.5 for the strawberries to to thrive. So once I get it all the way filled up, we will check out the pH and. Uh, Practically all these plants run the best, 5.5 to 6.5. Now if you had blueberries, they like it around 4.5, but most plants do well within a certain pH range. Here's Tower Garden Mineral Blend A, and this is Tower Garden Mineral Blend B. Um, for every five gallons, you put in some of this. So it makes a very, it's really kind of like a plug and play garden system. So many gallons of water, so much nutrition. And I will go over that more in depth another time, but right now I just want to get these strawberries happy. So my um, <clears throat> water is very alkaline, it's at 7.6. So now I need to add some solution to drop that down. So I got the pH squared away in here. Um, and the strawberries are in their new home. And we'll see what happens in a few days. It says they kind of come, come alive in about three days. So should have some nice weather. 
and good strawberry going rather. So this is how I garden when as an artist and wanting to go outside and do plein air painting and all the different things that I like to do. This is how I garden. And I do have some garden boxes too that you can see behind me. And some in, um, now this is interesting. I put in these three, two boxes. Putting in those two boxes and getting some really good soil in there cost me more than a tower garden. So take that into consideration. But I, so we're, it's been a little over a month with these strawberries. I just wanted to give you an update as to um, how everything is growing now. And look at this mustard. Look how huge it is. It's humongous. And this ended up being uh, celery up here. I thought it was lemon balm, but it's actually cutting celery. So I've been cutting off of that every day. I've been cutting off of my garden. Look at the fennel, how big it got. And then over here is the nasturtium. Full of flowers. And yeah, I use the nasturtium leaves and flowers in, gar in my smoothies and in my salads. But I know what you really wanted to see in this, the strawberries, so here they are. Look at this, flowering, beautiful flowers. And up here, we have strawberries. I'm so excited, I cannot wait to eat my first strawberry. There's some more strawberries, more flowers, but look how much they've grown. So anyways, that is what is happening with my tower gardens and if you see fit to want a tower garden and you want to grow your own strawberries and fresh greens, give me a holler. I'll help you out, help show you the ropes. So thanks for watching.